So this paper on uh, safe, uh, like learning safe control policy for multi-agent system with barrier certificates is something I'm really, really excited, excited about over the past year. It's really addressing the problem of being large scale. I just gave the example of deploying 1,000 drones in the city. We can imagine more, like 10,000 drones. Now, in the previous like line of work I described, we can understand these high-level requirements and tell you which, what are the detailed actions that each drone should should uh, act right like should visit post office a within 30 minutes it should go to charge at this point so those are the things we can synthesize from the this past line of work but now if we are having a lot of agents in the crowded area they are like you know collision is going to be a sig significant issue and in this paper traditionally how people solve the collision problem is to sort of plan routes so the agents are far, uh, in, not far away enough from each other. But we know that for self-driving cars, or if we want to really put a lot of drones in our, in our community, we cannot, the, the planning a separate route for each agent is going to be too costly and it's very conservative. It's going to lead to a different problem than you end up having, like spending hours to plan, just plan those routes. And if any disturbance comes in, your total thing got screwed, you know? Uh, like in the warehouse, you could see a robot sort of get stuck there and then others cannot figure out how to resolve that problem. Now in this paper uh, that's appeared in the conference on, um, conference on learning representation this year, earlier this year, what we did was we used a decentralized approach, but a decentralized approach with strong guarantees. It's using the similar idea of building a certificate and a control policy at the same time. But instead of building a global certificate saying, oh, for these 1,000 drones, they will not have collision, we know that's impossible to build because the dimension is just too large. We actually look at a decentralized certificate and decentralized control policy. Now for the control policy, uh, for both, the agent can only observe a very small neighborhood of itself. Like for example, these drones will have onboard sensors that like detect, detect some sort of neighboring agents. And each agent can only observe a small neighborhood of itself. And it will only react according to its observation. But we have a jointly built decentralized certificate. What's magic about this certificate is no matter how many agents you have in this environment, we can always construct a global certificate of all the safety requirements you want but by assemble, like assemble all the decentralized certificates. But you don't have to really learn that global one. Whenever you need, you assemble one. And that global certificate assembled from the decentralized like local ones can make sure no matter how many agents you put in this system, they are always going to be safe. They will not have any collision. If, for, of course, if they are all like following the certificates, uh, what the certificate is saying, but if they will never have collision, they will go to reach their goal within like, a given amount of time. Basically, they will just safely execute their um, original missions. So that's basically what that paper is trying to do. Uh, it's, so to me, it's the first uh, time that we can really tackle large scale. Actually, we can tackle arbitrarily large number of autonomous agents in the, in the system that we want to deploy. I, I think this like decentralized like certificate way for large scale autonomous is, is really the enabling factor for building large scale like, autonomous. Is like imagine in the future we want to send like tens of thousands of satellites to the space. We want to t send even more self-driving cars on the road. That's, I, I believe that's, a, that's the way to go. We can achieve scalability and safety without like sacrificing one for the other. We also, for, we also have a lot of good metrics for like sort of good results for different metrics for this system. For example, we measure safety, we are always 100% safe versus other you know, state-of-the-art machine learning methods, they just, uh, with the increasing number of agents, they just behave so bad. And we measure the latency that is caused. For example, 
we measure if each agent just go to their destination without consideration of safety, what's the time it's going to use, what's the total time they're going to use. And using our method, how much time more we need because we don't want each agent to stay, right? We, as I said, you can always design some sort of mechanism to ask some of them to stay and wait, give priority to the others, but that will give, increase the total time of your all your agents in terms of executing their tasks. But for us, there is only like 10 or 20% of increasing in time versus the baseline. So you're not really sacrificing like efficiency or sacrificing progress for safety. And so another thing I forgot to mention is um, to, to learn this decentralized certificate decentralized jointly with a decentralized policy, you don't need that many agents. We actually learn this thing using 20 to 50 agents and it can be deployed to more than 1000 and arbitrary number of agents. So that's the amazing part. And they, you can learn in one environment, deploy in a completely different environment. We learn in the city, we deploy the agents, deploy the drones in the tunnel, they perfectly do their jobs. So this sort of transfer across uh, the number of agents, transfer across environments, it's perfect.